So hi everybody and welcome back. What we have here today is a new 180 size frame from DAL RC. I will show it to you here. So that's the DAL RC DL180 frame. And we will take a look at this today and see what it's like. So I'm really looking forward to this. So let's see what we have here in the box. So as you can see, the box had some, yeah, well, it's quite uh, nicely packed. There was probably some misuse, abuse by one of the postmen, but hey, that is okay, because it is nicely packed, as you can see, and it comes with some really nice stuff here. So I really like this. So let's just quickly get this out. Oh wow, this is really nice. So I m often miss this. They even provide you some instructions of how to put this together. So this is some assembly schematics uh, in, in nice English. So I, I can't complain. This is really nice. I often miss this. So what else do we have here? Let's put the box to the side for a moment. And these instructions, let's just put them aside as well for later and let's take a look at what we actually have here so these are obviously the small parts which come with this frame so let's take a look at this here so these are some motor safers this is nice they are also very lightweight <coughs> and some vibration dampeners here, the usual screws and some longer screws. We will see how this goes together. I think this is actually a holder for your camera. I will put this together in a minute and then show you. This also comes with some very nice aluminum uh, standoffs here. Let's take a closer look at them because I want to show it to you. These are not your usual standoffs, but you can see they have quite a bit of a different shape here. So this is nice. Looks interesting, doesn't it? So let's see what we have here. Of course, yeah. So these are actually also, uh, let's take a close up look at them as well. So these are uh, uh, landing feet and of course uh, motor safers all in one so this looks really nice i i, I like this we will uh, take a look in a minute at this but now mm. let's take a look at the frame itself which we have here so let's see quickly unbox this. I have to say I really like this. So this is really nice stiff carbon fiber and again let's, let's take a closer look at this here. You can see the finish of it is really nice. So this is, this is really nice. I really like it. So this is real nice quality carbon fiber which we can see here this is really nice and also the other plates are really nice so this is really nice quality so let's take a look at the at the thickness of this they already said it's three millimeters i think and that is right so we have here three millimeter bottom plate which is feels really stiff really robust and then we have here a top plate let's take a look at that as well it's a 1.5 millimeter top plate here which is also for a top plate you don't need more this is also really really stiff and here we have the uh, camera mount i guess and this would be the uh, vibration dampening mount probably that way around yeah for your HD camera so let's take a look at the weight of all of this before we put it together 
Oh yeah, of course, before we take the weight of this, we will of course also check if this is true, true carbon fiber. I'm actually not worried about that because you, you will notice, you can even see very clearly that this is carbon fiber, but let's do this check. And you can see on the multimeter, this is conductive. This is true carbon fiber, of course. Let's also do this for the other components here, the top plate. Yeah, carbon fiber, the camera mount. Yeah, carbon fiber. And even the recording camera mount, I would guess, yes, it's all carbon fiber here. This is really nice. So let's take a look at the weight of this. So for the bottom plate, three millimeters bottom plate, this has a weight of just 48 grams. Then the top plate, and we are at 58 grams. And then we also put the camera plate and the HD camera plate here, and we are at 63 grams. And then we add the vibration dampeners here which are also included with this frame, which is really nice. A really nice touch. Well, come out. We are at 64 grams and then this motor savers slash landing gear. So 71, 74, so it's about three grams about three grams, a bit more than three grams for each of this uh, uh, motor safers uh, for the landing gear. Then we also put the, the aluminum standoffs here and we are at 84 grams. The screws here, we will probably not need all of them, but let's just put them here. And of course also this camera mount, which I believe is a camera mount. Let's just put it all there and we arrive at 96 grams. It will be a bit less because we will not need all of the screws. And of course we have these plastic bags here, which will not fly along. So let's say we arrive at about 90 grams for the complete frame with the complete hardware, which is really nice. What we will do next is to actually put this together and we will have a time lapse of it and we will do that now
Okay guys, so now we have finished putting this together and this really comes with a nice idea. I, I, it took me a few minutes to figure this out, but look at this here. Uh, actually you have, I will close it up so that you can take a close up look at this. This is your usual vibration damper, you know, and what they did is they uh, put the camera mount for the board cam also on this vibration dampening so you can see that if you maybe uh, okay, yeah there you can see it so that is actually mounted through a hole to your vibration dampener which means that your board cam is also vibration dampened and by loosen or tighten that screw you can even change the angle of this board of your board cam so this is really nice you can mount a very small board cam here uh, it also has another hole here. I'm not sure if you can use that to, to really screw in the board cam or if you might uh, simply glue in the board cam with some hot glue or something like that. But I really, 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 really like this idea of having the board cam not only a vibration uh, dampened but also at this varying angle here which you can just set and then tighten this uh, uh, screw here and you're ready to go. So that means you can freely adjust the angle of your board cam to your expertise in flying because yeah you know when you go uh, when you're getting better you will probably go yeah not not like that but like that and then you will need this additional angle on your board cam. So this is a really nice idea. I really like it. The frame all in all is also very nice i really like it you also have this uh motor uh, uh safers here which you can just put on and then screw your motor through them and these will also uh, uh be landing gear so these can also be used as landing gear so this is really nice i will just simply put them on here they not all of them hold but they will hold nicely once you put the screws through for your for your motor and now we can take again a look at the weight of this baby yeah so there that goes and we can see with that motor mount as well including everything we arrive at 92 grams this is very, 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 very nice. So Dal RC did a really, really, really nice job here. So I really, really, really appreciate this. Uh, one thing, the only thing which, which might have been great is if they would have included uh, one of the, the, the small uh, PDPs. So there's no PDP here in the set. Uh, Mm, you can, for example, take the Matac uh, uh, PDP from FPV model or any other uh, uh, small PDP which will fit here from Banggood. These are only a few uh, bucks, so these are very cheap. Would have been nice if it would be have been included, but even as it is, it's a really great frame. It's a really great small frame in the 180 size with a really good idea for mounting the board cam so i really like this if you like this as well please leave a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'm really looking forward to see you soon